First I will create pots and soil. Create a potted plant from the default cube. The potted plant is quite simple. The shortcuts are displayed in the bottom left corner of the screen. First, shrink the lower part. Then use inset face and extrude region to create the mouth of the potted plant. Add top, bottom, inside, and outside edges to shape the pot. Adjust the proportions of the pot to be beautiful. Now create soil. I will use the bottom of the pot to create soil. Duplicate the bottom surface of the potted plant and separate it into a new object. I then subdivided the mesh to use the displace modifier for the undulating surface. Temporarily hide the pot and the soil so as not to obstruct the view for the creation of the plant. Now I will create the leaf. Four of them will merge into one foliage. I will move the origin of the leaf to the position that I think will be the center of the foliage. Move the leaf to the world origin. Then use Array to create the remaining three leaves. Having finished the first foliage, I will create two more foliage. Clone the first foliage to make the second foliage. Each foliage is 45 degrees apart and gets smaller. I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees, but before I rotate I'll move the leaf's origin to the world origin so the leaf doesn't skew when rotated. Because we changed the scale, position and rotation of the object, using Array will be unsatisfactory. You need apply all transform. The top leaf layer you do the same. Now adjust the scale and position of the objects to balance. Finished the shaping part.
Before I get to creating the materials, I need the lighting and switch to the cycles render mode. The first is the potted plant. Everything is pretty clear, I use noise texture to create tiny specks, change its color, and give the spots some shine and height. The soil material is slightly modified from the potted material. Remember to click the number 2 right here so that the edits do not affect the pot. I will create the same material for all three foliage by selecting all three layers, create the material then press Ctrl L to bind the material. About the leaf, there are two features that we need to note, first, it's green at the bottom and pink at the top. The second is that light can pass through, as this is a succulent leaf. Now I will do the first part. Now it's time to implement the second property of leaves, light penetrating the leaves. But to do that, I'm going to add a sun that shines in the opposite direction of the camera to see the light through the leaves. Use Mix Shader to combine both properties. The upper leaves are still young, so they are less pink than the lower leaves. Done, thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you like this tutorial, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for your support.